Cycling on ice? No problem. Here's a bike powered by an actual airplane engine. And this back-to-back -back bike will make you question your reality. But watch to the end for the world's longest bicycle. Let's talk about some insane bikes that'll have your jaw on the floor. This is a bicycle that's got actual saw blades instead of normal wheels, and somehow it still works perfectly fine. Now, it's made to be driven on frozen lakes, as the sharp blades carve themselves into the ice for extra grip. Each individual blade also has a little tab on its edge to ensure you don't lose balance. What's more, even the gear and chain mechanism has been redone completely with solid chunks of metal, which makes it extremely robust. This is a bike that's powered by an actual airplane engine. Taken straight out of the Tron movies, this thing has completely hubless wheels and a very low profile. Also, even the steering handles are carved into the engine block. The insane design isn't just for show, however, because this bike can push out over 300 horsepower. For reference, that's about the same as a roaring Ford Mustang. Besides, even if it didn't, the deafening sound of a 90s Rolls-Royce aircraft engine is enough to turn heads in the entire city block. This is one of the tallest bikes in the world. At 15 feet, it's so tall that you need a ladder to climb on top, or you could also hop on from a second floor terrace. Thankfully, it doesn't require either of those, as the scaffolding on the frame is good enough for climbing. That said, you still need a building to balance it against as you go up there. Also, while there are training wheels on either side to prevent you from falling, a strong gust of wind could still knock you off balance. This bike has actual shoes instead of wheels. It's a pretty cool collab project between Adidas and Continental Tires to show how comfy their rubber tech can be. The shoes are mounted at the end of steel bars that connect everything to the steering and the gears. The most fascinating thing about it, though, is the fact that it works perfectly fine whether you're on the road or on dirt. And the shoe soles do a surprisingly good job of absorbing the bumps. This is a bike that's got a real pulse jet engine attached to it. Dubbed the most dangerous bike in the world, it's powered by an ordinary gas canister that feeds fuel into the jet engine. And despite all this added load, this bicycle still only weighs around 70 pounds, which for context is about the same as an average electric bike. What sets this apart from everything else though is the fact that it throws actual flames out of its massive exhausts. Plus of course, it goes faster than any normal bike would. Called the Surfer Bike, this thing's got some serious mobility, especially for its bizarre concept. Not only are the little wheels puncture-proof, but they also reduce the bike's turning circle, so much that you can actually do 90-degree turns on this. But the little wheels do make things a bit more bumpy, which means that riding it on anything other than a skate park would be rough. This is a real semi-truck tricycle. Even though it's technically a trike because of its three wheels, there's a lot more going on here. For instance, you've got a massive engine that can push out over 400 horsepower. For context, that's about the same power as an actual supercar. That said, the real star of the show is still the massive canopy at the back that not only acts as a shelter, but also makes it look like Optimus Prime from Transformers. What's more, the low ride height paired with long handlebars means that you're driving this thing like a biker gang chopper. Inspired by the movie E.T., this is a real-life flying bike. Now, while it's not being propelled by magic, the massive fan on the back is enough to give it that extra boost. In fact, at its fastest, this bike can easily go over the average 35 miles per hour speed limit. Since it uses a parachute to take off, though, a run-up isn't required at all. Instead, the only thing you need is a bit of wind and courage. This is the most uncomfortable tandem bike ever made. Unlike most usual two-person bikes that have one seat at the front and the other at the back, this one flips the script by dividing them vertically. So the second seat in this is below the main one, which means that your partner will have to lie down within the frame to use it. And even the second pair of pedals have been relocated to the front wheel, making it the most bizarre looking bike in the world. Since it is a laid back bike though, even the top rider has to lie down to use it. Specifically made for the Burning Man Festival, this bike has triangular wheels. From the outside, it obviously doesn't look like a smooth ride because, well, there's a reason why we don't have triangle wheels on things. 
But in reality, there's an intricate suspension system working to not only stabilize the bike, but to also make it feel smooth. In fact, as the entire frame moves up and down with the wheels, the seat remains planted in the same place. And even if there is a slight bump here or there, the big shock absorbers make sure that the rider doesn't feel any of it. This is a Flintstones-inspired bicycle that works without any pedals or motor. Instead, it's literally just a seat hanging from a bicycle frame. And to move forward, you use your feet. Once you've gained enough momentum, though, you can put your feet on the rear wheels, making things very aerodynamic. In fact, it's built this way to minimize air resistance and ensure the most efficient way forward while also keeping you extra active. This bicycle's rear wheel has been cut into two pieces. While it may look like sorcery, it's actually the result of some ingenious math. You see, the two wheel pieces are aligned in such a way that at least one of them is touching the ground at all times. So even though it may look like it's going to break apart at any moment, it never does. Oh, and the chain and gear system's completely custom made too, as each wheel needs to rotate at a certain speed to maintain its balance. This is a tall bike that can transform into a laid-back chopper. In its normal form, it's your ordinary tall bike with a high seat and pedals. But with the press of a single button, the entire frame starts to slowly move down and straighten out, turning into a low-ride chopper bike. Oh, and switching between the two modes is also super easy and quick, meaning that you can go back and forth while you're biking. This is a tandem bike that you literally have to drive backward. Rather than having two seats facing the same way, the rear rider on this faces the opposite way, and this makes it look like the two riders are trying to pull it apart from the middle. In reality though, the entire gear mechanism for the rear wheel has been reversed in a way that makes it go forward even if the pedal itself is backwards. Besides, with someone always watching your six, you won't need a rear view mirror anymore. Now, this is the longest bike in the world. Coming in at over 35 meters, it's longer than two semi-trucks combined. And if you stacked three of these together vertically, they'd be taller than the Statue of Liberty. Don't let its lean build deceive you though, because its reinforced metal frame is incredibly Damn, robust. Son. Oh, and if you've got two people pedaling away, it can reach a pretty decent speed too. That said, it's technically a tandem bike, so it doesn't have one long chain link. So, you can either sit at the back or at the front to push it forward. Alright, comment down below which of these bikes you want to try for yourself. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one.